Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. This week I'm going to talk about increasing your personal power and specifically in relation to things, you know, how we give it away, how we blame other people, other circumstances for the way that we feel in life. So if we feel humiliated, if we feel hurt, if we feel angry or jealous or upset, or if we feel irritated, or if we feel that life is against us. And the last two weeks, I've actually been speaking about um, how to sort of turn life around so you can start seeing the good in it. And that's made me think about one of the ways that you can do that in relation to sort of giving up your own power. Um, so if you're interested in that, I'll put links to those two particular episodes in the show notes below so you can catch up on them if you want. But this week I'm talking specifically about your own personal power. As soon as you blame anything else, be it a person, be it circumstances, be it anything, you give your power away. You give your power away to that entity, be it that person, that circumstance, that experience, whatever it is that you've been going through. Now, to take your power back, the very first thing to do is to acknowledge what you're doing, to recognise it. And there's certain key phrases I know for myself um, that if I catch myself thinking them or even saying them to somebody else, I realise it's like a real heads up for me that actually, hang on a second here, <laughs> you've let your personal power go. You've given that person more power in your life than you have. And I need to then take action to take that power back again. So for you, what I would do for the first week or so is just to observe when you allow someone else to be responsible. So when you when you blame someone for something, when you, when you think that they've made you angry, or even if they've made you happy, that's still giving someone else power to make you happy or unhappy, because if they made you happy, then they can do things that will make you unhappy. As soon as you catch yourself thinking things like that, that is a time when you have given them power over your state of being, over your feelings and how you feel in life or about life. Now, it's not just people, it can be circumstances, it can be events that happen. And as soon as you think that something that's happened has more power over how you feel than you do, you've given your power away to it. And as I said, the way to take your power back is one, to acknowledge that, to recognise when that happens. Until you recognise it, you will allow life to just happen to you and you'll be tossed around in the waves of life rather than being the person that steers the boat. So, acknowledging. The next thing is to make a decision on what actions to take or who you want to be in that circumstance or what conversation you want to have if it's a person. So, in, for instance, in a circumstance, if something happens to you in life that wobbles you and tosses you around, if you blame that for how you're feeling or for what's going on in your life, then, as I've said, it has power over you. But if you acknowledge it and you catch it, like I've said, and then you say to yourself, who do I want to be in this particular circumstance? Or what can I do about this circumstance? Or can I just ignore it and focus on something else? It depends on what it is, obviously. But there are many different options that you have that can help you to take back your power in those circumstances. And when it comes to a person, that's obviously slightly different because they have different options that you can take. You can have a conversation with them you can decide that you just don't want to be friends with them anymore. You don't need them in your environment. Um, you can decide to, to be loving to them, to show them love and affection, rather than becoming defensive and argumentative with them. There are so many different options that you have. But what I would say is before you choose to act, decide what you want from the scenario, because the action that you take will be very much in relation to that. For instance, if you are in a romantic relationship with somebody, um, and I'm just going to assume that if you are and you want that relationship to continue, that what you might want is a close, trusting, safe relationship where you can feel that you can truly be yourself with somebody. Now, if the action you take is to shout at them and scream at them and tell them to back off because they're stealing your power, that's not going to create a deep connection between the two of you. So if you know that you want that deep connection, how you speak to them about whatever it is that's happened will be very, very different than if you don't want them in your life anymore. 
And I'm not suggesting that you scream and shout at anyone. I don't think that's necessarily ever an answer. But knowing what you want from that relationship with that person is very imperative to how you choose to speak to them or the actions you choose to take in relation to whatever event it was that's happened. And then once you've done the speaking and you've expressed yourself fully, and that's very important to express yourself fully because if you don't, you'll have little niggling grains of irritation left inside you. It's very important for you to express those fully so that you feel completely complete. So you don't feel like there's any irritation left over. And when you express, you do not need to pass the emotion on that you felt at the slight or the hurt or whatever it was that happened initially. It's about letting those emotions go because they've, they've told you that it's not working, that whatever it is that's happened in your life is not making you happy. And it's now about expressing the deeper side of things to whoever it is that you are in a relationship with, whatever that relationship may be. And when you've done all of that, the next step is simply to let it go. Don't revisit it, don't go over it, don't bring it up with a person over and over and over again. And if you are complete, if you've achieved that deep completion, you shouldn't even have a desire to go over it because it will become nothing, because there is nothing left in there anymore because you've expressed it all. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please like, please subscribe. And if you are curious about anything or there's anything you don't understand or you want to know more about, um, just send me a message in the comments below. I will always read them and I'll always respond. And if you're interested in any of my coaching or my online courses, then there's a link to that in the show notes below as well. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.